we've had a great tour actually, it's been, it's been really fun. Everyone told us we were mad to come touring America in the middle of summer, but actually uh, the shows have been great and the crowds have been great. And, uh, everyone seems to have warmed really well to the to the new EP and stuff, so uh, we're, we're pretty, pretty made up by the whole thing. The original idea was to do some sort of single with uh, like a couple of the tracks we did with Kanan. Mm -hmm. So we did we did those last year and uh, had a great time making that in a little sort of batch of music, I suppose. Um, and we just wanted to put those out, and then we started to think, well. You know, we've got these other couple of songs that we really want to get out there, and you know, and then before we knew it, we had, we had a sort of eight-track EP, which is pretty much an album. And then, <laughs> then we were, then the next thing we were sort of touring it for months on end, and uh, you know, it did, it's done really well, basically. It's, it's kind of, you know, just much more than we ever expected. It's kind of mutual love of each other's music. That's where it started, anyway, and, and with a couple of songs that were. We're really just kind of sketches with sort of unfinished things and we wanted to collaborate with someone in the world of hip-hop. So uh, he was kind of pretty much top of the list, I suppose. And um, it's lovely when someone who's kind of top of your list of people you'd love to work with actually then turns around and says, I love your music, I can't wait to come and work with you guys. Sure. So there's great chemistry there and, um, you know, it, it just uh, it went really well. He came over to London in April last year, um, pretty much... Uh, couple of weeks after we phoned him so um, he then came into the studio he is pretty much the most relaxed person you'll, you'll ever meet um, and he just sort of sauntered in and uh, spent a few hours just listening to a loop just scribbling notes down and working stuff out on his computer and then suddenly got up to the microphone and sang for like an hour and this amazing beautifully beautiful fully formed piece of music came out and uh, we were all pretty excited. You know, like Tom said, we we had a couple of tracks that were really just sketches, so they um, they needed to be finished in the studio. So when he came in, it was like, you know, what ideas have you got? How can we finish these tracks together and make them better than they would be if it was just us doing our thing? And um, yeah, I mean, he added a lot to them, especially uh, stop for a minute. It was basically just a verse and chorus, if that, when we when we took it in, and you know, between us, we built it up into this fully formed. Thing which we're really proud of. Yeah, that song is probably the main reason that the Night Train EP happened because we actually had it um, recorded towards the end of the Perfect Symmetry sessions, and um, you know, I kind of well, everyone was very into it, and then I had a big panic that it wasn't didn't really fit with the rest of the record. And anyway, so we didn't put it on. And then when we were in uh, the States touring Perfect Symmetry, we started playing it live and. Um, suddenly sort of all fell in love with the song again and got really excited about it and we just thought we've got to get this out there. Um, so that became, kind of became the sort of focal track of the EP. It's a song that's, um, you know, well, it's one of your favourites to sing, isn't it? It sure is, yeah. Big hook. Yeah, I love that song. It's very emotional and mm. it's got, a, you know, it probably has that sort of bit of smouldering kind of building thing more than any other Keen song, so it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's turned out to be something that we really love and yeah, I hope people love it as much as we do. Uh, t Tim keep, seems to keep ending up working with these incredibly beautiful pop starlets. <laughs> <laughs> Names? Ki yeah. Kylie Minogue and Gwen Stefani and Phil Scherzinger. Shall yeah. I go on? Have you got anyone else in your wish list? <laughs> uh, well, it, it's, it's tricky because it's, it's always nice it's nice when you do stuff with people who really want to work with you, I think. Um, I mean, there are lots of people that we absolutely sort of idolise, you know, especially, again, from the world of hip-hop. I think, um, you know, Jay-Z and Kanye are two people that we kind of really, really look up to. But, and, and actually, Kanye West has been really supportive of Keen and very enthusiastic about us over the years. And we've, Done a little bit of stuff together, but haven't quite brought anything to fruition. But so it'd be nice. It'd be nice to follow through on that. But I think, you know, as we've learned from working with Kane on, it's kind of nicest when these things happen organically, and you know, it's, it's not too much sort of, you know, our people talk to your people, and we'll try and find a window somewhere in a solar studio somewhere. You know, so it's, it's, if it's just you know, you get on the phone and enthuse about music, and then good things happen. I think that's the way to do it.
We're going back, I've just been looking at the weather, we're going back to the like the most appalling British summer, <laughs> if you can call it that. Yeah. Um, so it'd so you'd like, be nice to be able to say like, yeah, we're going back to lovely kind of classic British summer, but it's, it's not going to be. Uh, but we have got a bit of time off, haven't we? Yeah, this is the end of our of our touring for Night Train, so it's, um, you know, we're actually really excited about the new songs we've got for the next proper album. Um, we've on the course of this American tour, we've been doing a lot of talking and experimenting with new songs and trying to make them, you know, really perfect, uh, which has been a great kind of group effort. Uh, and a lot of fun. Um, so you know, I think yeah, we're just very focused on the next album, and um, so I think between now and probably November, I think we'll be uh, just trying to finish the songs and kick ideas around, and, and hope that we can go into sort of, towards the end of the year and start uh, rehearsing up some some amazing new songs. Do you think